guys, so uh, I just wanted to show you guys another lock that I love. I got it from Hong Kong, and uh, again, I got it from the Hong Kong Locksmiths Association. Uh, it was a really special day since I got to talk to the chief of the association, so it's not every day that I get to do that. So anyhow, um, I was talking to him, and he knows that. And uh, I was talking about how I like to collect locks, and like so the locks I really dream of. And I was so happy, because I'll be honest with you, it's crazy. I was overwhelmed with, by happiness, because I got this lock. Now, I'm sure Lockman28, if you're watching this video, although I don't think you are, uh, this is similar to the HYT uh, snake chain key lock. So, uh, just kind of get some lighting on it, try to, uh, get this to focus. So, I'm going to show you this lock, and just like uh, Lockman 28's lock, it's a snake chain key, so, means that it's like a chain, and then you get your pets. So, anyhow, I'll pull this back in. So, basically, the way it works is you put your key in the hole, you stick your key in, and it goes in and turns. This is really nice. Now the way it works is um, the keyway actually is really spectacular. It's not like any other keyway. Okay, it's not just some plain old wide open keyway that you can stick any random pick in there. It's a really, really, really nasty keyway that will not just go straight, but it will wind around. And so that's why you have one of these. Uh, snake chain keys. Um, so, however, the actual overall mechanism of this lock is really not that uh, difficult. It's not really that complicated. It's really just the, uh, the way the plug works in the keyway. Uh, the lock is essentially just a six pin tumbler, inline pin tumbler lock. And so that's why, um, actually, when this lock was first introduced in Hong Kong, um, well, you know, they were, you know, locksmiths were actually able to find methods to try to uh, actually, you know, open these locks. And so one of them was to use a thick piece of plastic. And so what they found was that film worked really well. And so they were able to pick these locks with film. Uh, these are really nice locks. I have to say they're really nice locks. But the really sad thing was that these locks never, ever got to make it into the actual lock market. The reason why was because these keys, I'll be honest with you, if you don't take these out properly, you jerk it just a little bit, the key will get stuck and it'll be a pain in the butt to try to get out and, you know, it's really hard. It's really annoying. You won't be able to get it out easily. Second thing is you only get two keys. So, let's say in Hong Kong, usually a normal family will have around three to four people. So if you want to get another one of these keys, you can you can definitely get them duplicated. That's why you have a template. Uh, but these keys are really not that you know they're not that simple. You don't just take it and have it duplicated. Honestly, it's like uh, I was talking to the guy and he said uh, like the chief of the locksmith association in Hong Kong. He said um, these locks these key uh, these keys are extremely difficult to duplicate. I mean the way he had to do it was that it was really difficult because first of all you had to take this and clamp this really tight and um, another thing was that this was made of brass and so it's really easy to damage and another thing is that when you put it on the vise it's really hard to do it because if you put it on the vise sometimes this will be drooping and it could break or you might clamp it too tight and that's just you squish the chain and it won't work anymore um, the second thing was actually mainly cutting the key like I said this is brass this is only brass okay the problem with that is um, what the locks was, uh, what the locks was said was that these keys are extremely difficult to cut. I mean, for the key blanks, if you were to cut these, you would either mess up the key, like the cutter will either mess up the chain, or the chain will mess up the cutter. So that's why I never made it into Hong Kong's market, and I never made it into China's market, and never really made it to anywhere's market. So that's why these locks, uh, they weren't made for very long, and sadly they will never be made ever again so these are collector's items so it's a really nice lock uh, I really love the idea of it but sadly it's not made anymore and so this means that unfortunately I will not be selling this lock or trading it or giving it away because it is lock up 
wanted for many many years it's like a dream come true for me so anyhow uh, it's got a sad story but yeah well that's how you you know, it's the lock so it's really nice and uh yeah well thanks for watching and please keep your picking legal uh subscribe to my channel please and uh if you haven't already uh please comment and rate this video thank you